One of the most significant things about adult life is padlock and keys. I mean, you've got to lock something. Let's look more on how difficult it is to open some padlocks. Some are easy, some are hard, and some are too difficult. Imagine coming in late at night and trying to unlock your gate with a difficult padlock. Today's video makes life a lot easier. What if I tell you that you can do away with padlocks, with keys, and that you can actually unlock your padlock with just your finger? Yes, it's so easy. Tap, unlock, lock it again. Tap, unlock, tap, unlock. Let's check it out. Okay, welcome back again to Smart Depot. I've always wanted to have something that will make unlocking padlocks very convenient. So I got this one for about $15 from AliExpress and it was just for fun, maybe to use it to lock, you know, the children's uh, room or outage. But let's look at it. First of all, the manual was just very simple and easy to read. There is a USB cord. I mean, how many of those do I have? You can charge it. Come on, micro USB. But for $15, I mean, <laughs> who's going to get that? Wow. So if you get it the first time, open it from the box. Any finger can open the fingerprint. So that's the way it comes by the fourth. So any finger, if you touch it, it will open. Now, that's because you have not actually you know, registered your own fingerprint. So I'll show you easily how to register fingerprint here. But also, also note that you can actually charge it with charger. So um, according to the manual, this thing can hold charge for about one year. And from my experience, yes, it can really, really hold charge. So if there's any reason it goes off, you plug it into charging. And once it starts charging, if you already have a secure fingerprint, uh, you can just tap it in and it will unlock. So maybe a power bank or something can <laughs> be handy if it somehow runs out of juice. But since it can last a year, that won't be a problem. So now we're going to record our fingerprint. So you press and hold for about five seconds. It starts blinking and then you start tapping in the fingerprint, you know, I think about 10 times and then it will register a fingerprint. So that's the first fingerprint. So that fingerprint becomes the admin fingerprint. So the good thing also is that it won't accept any other finger apart from now that you have registered the one fingerprint it will only require that one to unlock it and it's actually unlocked quite fast enough just look at that so once it raised the hand it, it did unlock so right now we're going to put the second finger press and hold right now for about five seconds and then now you kind of use to authenticate it with the admin fingerprint see now it's been authenticated and now you can now start registering the new fingerprints it can take up to 10 fingerprints so you can it can be fun you know among people i'm just trying to adjust it it's so so convenient that you can now you see it's unlocked now with the second fingerprint so so that is uh, also i'm going to check the validity by putting other fingers to see whether this guy will be able to you know unlock by another finger but no it only unlocks with the registered finger so two of my index fingers has been registered and you can see that it works so um uh, there is a compartment at the back where you can actually open it sealed um not jerry rig everything i'll probably break it up <laughs> if this video have enough view i can buy a new one just for fun and tear it apart but i got this one for the kids you know to lock uh, the veranda uh, lock for them the manual is also easy to understand so i'm kind of impressed with this um this key see the real life use <laughs> where i you know use it to lock the veranda so that it oh, is usually the high rainy time and i don't want the kids to be running around or just go out in the rain or something uh they already know how to open the normal padlock so i just like let me try something new and something fun and yes i really enjoyed it so if this video gets enough like i will do more videos of other ones that are more expensive that you can control from your phone with bluetooth or you can give lock from there from outside there are still even more you know that you can also use 
to register fingerprints you know from your phone and you know see it while you do uh, there are other ones like the one you use for your drawer still fingerprint and um, uh, maybe in the next video I'm gonna test how secure these things are but for convenience hell yes <laughs> these things are so so convenient and there's even one for you know doors you know door locks that you can use so let me hear from you in the comment section and until I see you in the next one peace subscribe I see you.